and back to 2011. What a tie it was. It required a replay. Two games Mark Wilson will never forget. I'd played in many old firm games before those two Scottish Cup games, but those are the two that stick in my memory um, and will do forever. Jamie Ness, oh, what a way to announce yourself! Look at that strike, honestly, unbelievable. Celtic fighting back, it's Chris Commons! What a finish, bad when we did that at that time. Naismith through and down! At that point I'm thinking, oh no, we've just got back in this game, get a good foothold in it, down to ten men. And Stephen Whittaker beats Lucas Saluska! Good penalty for him. Up against it, I almost felt we had good enough players to make it competitive at least. We were all pretty riled up, there was, there was a bit of coming together on the tunnel at half time, Bruni and Elhaj Juf had, had made friends in Glasgow for the first time. Scott Brown, that is special! What a finish, I don't think I've ever seen him strike a ball with that with his left foot and of course the famous iconic celebration after it. I think that all came from the afters in the tunnel at half time, just Scott saying there you go, have a bit of that. We all loved it, I, th I thought it was incredible. If he gets a statue outside Celtic Park one day, I'm sure it'll be with that celebration. It was one for the ages and one that people still remember to this day, still get stopped in the street and asked about it and as I said before, it's still one, probably if not my favourite game that I've played in. Mark Wilson! And again, an unlikely hero! I only had thoughts in my head of keeping this down and keeping it under the bar. I was on my left foot, I tried to side foot it and, let's be honest, I scuffed it into the ground. And I bounced over McGregor, incredibly lucky, incredibly fortunate, but you know what, growing up a Celtic fan, you know, dreaming of playing against Rangers, never mind scoring, I would take a goal any way it went in. Well, it's not often you wake up the next day and you don't see the guy who scores the winner on the back page. I had to flick about four pages in to, to find a little passport-sized photo of myself, I think. And it was just because so much more happened in the game that we hadn't seen for so long in an old firm fixture. Words exchanged and all of a sudden it's Bedlam pitch side. You look across the touchline and you see Alan McCoyst and Neil Henning going at it. Um, so, all a bit manic at the time. I think I was a wee bit over the top calling it the, the shame game. I don't mind for one minute tempers boiling over and even the coaches on the touchline, it didn't come to bowls or anything like that. But I just showed you the passion and the actual rivalry between the two sides. I don't think I'd ever played in a game like that or ever did until I retired. It was an incredible experience, an incredible 90 minutes and I think you'll struggle to find a game that has, or two games should I say, that have as much in them as, as those two did. Uh, what a period it was. Some say seven games is too much to play. Uh, I don't agree, I would have them every week if I could. <laughs>